Okay, in this problem, we want to determine if the vector field is conservative, and we our vector field is uh, y squared times z cubed, comma, 2xyz cubed, comma, 3xy squared, z squared. And if we have a continuous partial derivative, and also our curl f is 0, then f is a continuous vector field. So in this problem, we're going to try to uh, determine the uh, curl for f. So let's do that. So we have p, q, r. So we can um, define p, q, r. So we can say that p is defined as y squared times z cubed, times z cubed. And our q would be defined as uh, 2 times x times y times z squared uh, cubed. And then we do r. r is defined as we have uh, 3 times x times y squared uh, times z squared. OK, hit enter. And now we will use this formula. When we solve by hand, we use this. But since we're using the ti, this is fairly easy to do. So we use square brackets to represent vectors. So we'll do a shift minus uh, the derivative, the partial derivative of y for r. So r minus, say so same thing, shift minus, it's going to be dz for uh, q, comma, shift minus uh, z for p, uh, minus uh, shift minus, we have um, dx for r and then comma uh, shift minus we have uh, x for q minus shift minus uh, y for p uh, if we hit enter we get 0 0 0 so our curl would therefore be 0 so we can therefore say yes vector field is conservative. And that's all we need to do.